you're going to purr the entire time. That's fabulous. Hello and welcome to a new vlog. We are coming at you on a Wednesday afternoon. I know it's for definite because it says it's Wednesday on my phone. And it is getting on <laughs> on a Wednesday afternoon. You can just about see Tula in the corner. <laughs> and I can see it sprawled out behind me. I kind of started the vlog a little bit late into the week, but it's been kind of busy so far. Um, Joe is right by here. I'm sat on the floor right now in the office. Hey guys. Mm -hmm. Sorry about this. I'm just uh, at my desk, just doing very secret things. That sounds really weird, but um, basically I am doing confidential contracty things, which is very exciting. Mm -hmm. He was excited as I am. I am indeed. Anyway, back to you. We catch you up for what we've been doing in the week. It's been kind of a bit of an ad admin-y week, I would say. Would you agree? Yeah, Joe's not in. Monday, we, well, on Mondays, I've kind of become Joe's PA. <laughs> I have a full-on folder. I schedule uh, Joe's work, his meetings, um, emails he has to do. I'm, I am just, a, I think it's fair to say that I'm a PA. So Mondays is usually the day when we schedule in what Joe has to get done for the week any emails he has to send and meetings and stuff so that was that. I also had to take back, I have a funny story, <laughs> I had to take back some orders, take them out to the post office. I decided to order a dress from ASOS or ASOS however you say it and this was when the weather was really nice, it's currently not that nice anymore, it's raining but um, yeah this was when we were having the heat wave and I thought what about a nice floaty summer dress that will be brilliant. I found this black one that I thought that looks really nice, ordered it. When it arrived I tried it on, I should have but I didn't get to show you what it looked like. I tried it on and I thought it's a really strange fit and I can't figure out why and for ages I was thinking oh I don't know do I need to put a belt around it? Um, I don't really know how to describe the style of it. It was almost like a well, there was sleeves to it, but almost like the kind of elastic boob tube bit. And then it was meant to flow out. It was just very, very roomy around the waist part. And I was thinking, oh, this seems like a very specific fit. And I can't figure out why. So I thought, I'll have a look at the label, see if I order the wrong size, because I've, I've done that before. And then I noticed on the tag it said maternity. <laughs> So that's why there was so much room around the waist. So, yeah, that had to go back. And yeah, I don't think I actually said that pretty much all the clothing that I got last week um, when I went on the shopping trip, pretty much none of it fitted. Um, obviously, at the minute, with what's going on, none of the changing rooms are open. So it's kind of like you just have to grab things, try it on at home, and then. If it doesn't fit, take it back. And that's pretty much what I've had to do. So, yeah, currently I'm still not... I, I haven't really got much in the way of clothing right now. But it's fine, because I, I love just wearing this robe. <laughs> I was just about to put, like, a sweatshirt on a hoodie. And I thought to myself, oh, do you know, I just want to put my robe on. So that is why I'm in a robe right now. I might be doing a bit of ad work. For nip and fab so someone got in contact with me the other day um i think it's probably because i've done like insta stories before where i've said about their their products which it, you know wasn't a sponsored thing or an ad i just really really love their skincare um and yeah someone got in contact and said would you want to do some content for us for their facebook ads so yeah i mean fingers crossed that all goes ahead so I think that's going to happen either next week or the week after um, because yeah I think that's when we're going to get the new camera to film on which will make things a lot easier so yeah that should be fun what else has happened this week? Can you think what else we've done? Um, I've just been doing this overall stuff oh yeah I, d I don't know I don't think we've said on this channel that you've been doing the audio books do you want to say? Well, J 
Joe's too shy to say. <laughs> but he is currently doing audio books on YouTube. Is that right? Do, do they go up on Wattpad as well? No, they can't, can they? Uh, they can. Oh, they she... can, yeah. Yeah. Have, have, have they gone up on Wattpad as well? The first chapter, yeah. So, yeah, so Joe is doing like chapter by chapter of Overworld as an audiobook version, which he's posting to his YouTube channel and to his Wattpad. So, go and check those out. And yeah, tonight we're having a movie night. Yeah, obviously the cinemas have opened now, I believe. Um, I think I've had a few emails from different cinemas saying that they're opening, but I don't think we're going to be going to the cinema for a very, very long time. And yeah, I don't know, we just fancy down the movie night. So we've got some popcorn and I think we're going to watch the second Jumanji film. So yeah, we really enjoyed the first one, so we thought we would watch that and then I think next week we're gonna watch Meet the Parents because Joe's never seen that and it's really funny. So yeah I think Joe's just gonna finish up his work for the day now and oh the painting. Should we just leave the rest oh, of it? Oh me painting the rest of it. Yeah, should we leave that? <laughs> yeah to be honest it just looks a stick to me. Like <laughs> uh the painting of the kitchen. So yeah, I have done, this is the third coat now, i done that this morning and I don't know, it's just, I don't know, it's just not working out, there's just still patches of the like really dark grey poking through and I, don't know, I, I think we're, we're just going to cut our losses with that because at some point we want to get it tiled so I think we're just going to say forget that and we'll just wait <laughs> till we can get it tiled. But. Yeah, Joe's just gonna finish up work for the day and then it's gonna be movie time. Good morning everyone, although I'm not sure if it's morning anymore. No, it's not. It's not morning. It is coming up to one o'clock on a Friday afternoon. It feels like morning though to me. I am all kitted out as if it's like the full winter, but from the last vlog when it was like so hot that I felt like I was getting like heat stroke or something to now that we've just gone to go out and it is blowing a gale out there and it is peeing down so I have decided it's just full on autumn today um, and I've literally just got this coat and I am very happy with it. It looks more white on camera but to be honest, I feel like everything's looking paler on this camera and I'm not sure why. Because um, yeah, I have got a bit of fake tan on and I've got loads of bronzer on but I'm looking quite fair, I feel like. But anyway, this is like a, almost like a creamy stone colour, this coat from Pretty Little Thin. And yeah, I'm really happy with it. It's got a hood like in this zippy bit. Um, yeah, I just felt like I needed a jacket because it's going to be raining quite a bit around here over the next week and the only kind of like coats that I've got which would be waterproof is like a proper proper winter coat and it's like long. Thank you Joe. Joe, I'm vlogging. Oh, maybe you could show him the coat yeah. I just got. Very nice indeed. <laughs> so yeah I just felt like I needed a kind of quite a you know light coat but just sewing that was going to be waterproof and has a hood and yeah I quite like the fact that the hood's like hidden into the coat so yeah I don't have to have it like the hood out all the time and that is like pretty much just turned up just we were about to leave and just as it started raining and I was like meant to be it's a sign from the world that I needed this coat. Joe's wearing shorts and I think this could be about and the white shorts as well. Yep. <laughs> so this could be a uh, brave and risque move on your part. Basically I just refuse to believe that it's bad weather. It's the summer and I'm going to dress for the summer. <laughs> <laughs> That's the attitude. Boo. It wasn't actually meant to rain until four. Derek insulting our intelligence again. When we say Derek 
we're talking about our weatherman, Derek Brockway. I'm going to name and shame him. Name and shame. Although I don't even think he's on TV anymore. <laughs> I think he's like retired. Is he? Oh, I don't know, I might be wrong. I'm yet. pretty sure he's on Twitter as uh, like the, the weatherman. I mean, I'm always claiming people have retired, people have died, everything. I, I just assume these things and then it turns out they're still alive and kicking. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure that Derek Brockway is still going, but even so, he was like the iconic weather dude. Um, to be fair to him this time though, he did tell us it was going to be bad weather. It's usually when it says uh, that it's going to be nice weather and then it ends up being raining is more like the kick in the teeth really but I think we just assumed we had a few more hours before it was gonna rain. <laughs> You're yeah, I, I, I'm, I, yeah. I, I am actually going out like this. <laughs> oh look you can see the pretty little thin packaging down there. Sorry that was my bad. I'll clean up in a bit. I probably won't take the camera out because it's raining. Should we do an update of how you feel when we get back? Oh I don't know if we've showed them this. I've just seen this oh, in the yeah. background. So, itchy nose then. Yeah, we're decorating the hallway and we decided to do a wall of like pictures from the wedding. So, this is what we've got so far. Oh, I love it. That was us. But uh, yeah, we want to do a lot more to the hallway as well. But we need to do an Ikea trip. But yeah, we will update you on how Joe feels when we get back, whether he's wet. Or just moist. <laughs> <laughs> how it's like how much on the moist scale? Are you? <laughs> I mean, right, right now I'm like zero. I'm I'm quite so it's a zero dry. now. We'll get back to you with the update. So Joe, how do you feel? I mean, on a scale of no to ten, in terms of moistness, I think I'm about a four. That's not bad. Yeah, it actually wasn't too bad that day. Yeah, it was only I mean, once the. You can tell by my hair. But. Well, up until he just pulled it, I thought it looked quite cute. It was like in little ringlets. Oh. <laughs> what does it look like now? What do you want to see? It doesn't look as ringlety anymore. That is one moist head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. But I can say that that coat that I got works very well. It was lightweight enough that I could wear it when it's warm and I didn't feel like I was sweating and it kept me dry so can't ask for better than that I'm very excited about what I've seen in Tesco's a Toblerone orange flavour orange orange I mean correct me if I'm wrong but I don't think there's ever been an orange flavour before and then as we were leaving I seen there was like Cadbury's dairy milk buttons, orange flavour. I mean, I, d I, d I don't know because I was saying it to myself, did I make the right choice? Should I have gone for the dairy milk? But then I didn't see the dairy milk until we were leaving. I mean, if you can't tell, I like a orange flavoured <laughs> chocolate. I do. Tell you, chocolate orange is the best. But, yeah, to be fair, I think, I think I'm think i pleased with my choice of a Toblerone. I usually have a Toblerone at Christmas. So I'm a bit early, really. Oh, this camera's gone up for a cool time. I'm a tad early, but I just seen it and I thought I can't pass up this opportunity to have a Toblerone when it's orange flavoured. Talking of Christmas, we've also got a candle, which is apple, cinnamon and nutmeg. It smells delightful, and again, it does smell like Christmas. I sense a theme. <laughs> it's it's not. I don't think it's us. It's just this stuff is available. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Oh, it does smell good though. Uh, we haven't actually had a candle for ages now, so we just got that one. I think uh, was it like an airwick one or yeah, late something like that. But usually, our fave is Yankee Candle. So. I actually might go and look at some Yankee candles online later because I've forgotten all about candles and it's nice when your home smells all like how you like it as well. What's your favourite Yankee candle do you think? 
Yeah, probably the same as you, uh, yeah. cinnamon one. Yeah, my favourite. Or thing. maybe an apple one of some kind. Yeah, yeah, my favourite one I think of all time from Yankee Candle is cinnamon stick. Uh, we're just about to have some lunch now, my first, my first food of the day. But we did a uh, HIIT workout this morning. And whenever I do a HIIT workout, I mean, we, it was mainly like kind of jumping around leg focused, I would say. But I always find I don't get that hungry. I think my body's just in such like a state of shock. <laughs> it takes a while for it to like relax and think, do you know what, it's safe to eat. Uh, yeah, we're going to have some lunch and then I want to do some weights because I don't want to lose any muscle mass from doing HIIT workouts. Ooh! Look at that rain. Are you going to do that? Got to feel lucky. Yeah. Oh, we were very lucky. The odds were in our favour. Got a little friend with me. A little friend. I am just about to do a quick butt circuit. Uh, I thought I could show you kind of what I do. Hello. If you can hear her nails clicking, I've got her booked in to have a full on groom. <laughs> You're gonna be groomed, aren't you, my love? I need my little Gigi. But yeah, the earliest they had was the 8th of September, so I'm not, anyways, the beginning of September, so she's just going to have to wait a little bit longer. But we did manage to get, uh, like, her nails done just as lockdown started, so she should be alright. It just sounds like she's walking on high heel shoes. But yeah, I thought I would show you a little bit of what I do. So like I said, this is going to be kind of like a quick circuit, because I did do... A hit workout this morning so I don't want to do loads of stuff mainly just to keep the muscle maintained really so I do a lot of like resistance band stuff just like that kind of resistance band so yeah this is the extra heavy yeah sometimes I use two extra heavy bands like one on top of each other Um, I thought I'll just go for one today and yeah I mainly do a lot of like glute bridges, the kind of like side butt stuff. Yeah, mainly just like resistance band stuff. These bands I just get from Amazon and I'm sure there's, you can probably get them from loads of different places. Yes, I will show you just like a quick little thing of what I do. I'll see if it'll... Okay, babe. <laughs> you can see her head. <laughs> My love, you gonna move out the way? You do Gonna do the workout too. Oh, <laughs> the back of it looks so cute. I just put this disclaimer out there. I do not claim ever, ever to be a professional. Uh, this is just stuff that I've picked up over the years, and this is just what I do and what I think works best for me. So, yeah, I usually get the band and just put it around there, and then usually get my legs kind of like hip width apart then I usually push up on my heels and um, what I found is the best is to kind of think that you're trying to like almost like hook your butt under so rather than just going like up and down with like the bone right at the bottom of your butt basically kind of like hook it under and then hold that and then drop down that's kind of it really and I generally do 15 of these then I'll do different variations where I'll do it with my legs together and then as I come up, open up my legs and then do that and back down. And then usually ones where I kind of put my heels together just like that and then go up like that then. So yeah, I'll probably do 15 of each and then repeat that like three times then. So that was that one. Now the next kind of stuff that I do is kind of on my side. I'm gonna try to do the best I can. And this might be the best way for me to show you. So I'm laying on my side and I've got the band again around there. And then what I do is I lift up, tap my foot forward whilst keeping my body like still. And then lift that up again 
and then go backwards. So like that. And that works the side bar. And the key to this, make sure you squeeze at the top. Like I said, make sure you're not move like you're not moving back and forth, try and keep your body as still as possible. Give a little squeeze on the way down as well when you're on this side. And try and get as much like lift as you can as you go in back and forth. So I'll do 15 each side with that one and again repeat it three times and then what I'll do then is and then what I'll do is tuck my knees up like that and then open and close and the key to this is to make sure that you're doing it not just like oh open close open close to do it slowly and controlled oh do look at me stop so do that and that. So again, I'll do that 15 on each side and then repeat that three. And then lastly, I'm just gonna do a simple, just literally up and down. And just again, making sure I'm doing this slow and controlled. So not just going like that, but actually engaging the muscles and doing it slow, with a little hold, controlled, back down. Again, do 15 each side and repeat that for three. And yeah, I think that's pretty much going to be it today because like I said, I already done a HIIT workout this morning and it was a lot of squat jumps and things like that. So usually if I was just doing like a butt workout, I would do things like deadlifts and sumo squats, lunges, curtsy lunges, things like that. But we did a lot of like yes yeah, skater jumps and all stuff like that this morning but yeah i mean that's kind of, like i i feel really uh silly kind of filming that but just in case the thing is i do get asked by people what i do to work out and stuff so that's just a, a brief little thing that i hear that i do yeah I never know what to say when people ask me what i do in regards to my workouts because I feel like I'm not a professional I don't know if I can give the right <laughs> advice but there you go but yeah I'm just gonna quickly finish up now then I want to do a hair mask because now that my hair is very blonde I want to make sure I keep it in good condition so I'm gonna uh, like wash my hair and stuff and then put a hair mask in and leave it overnight and I might even do some face masks and stuff so yes I shall catch up with you later you wanna leave so baby so baby come so it is quite a bit later now i ended up not having my shower when i thought i was going to because i started editing the vlog and got distracted so it is 20 past 10 right now and i've pretty much just got out the shower yeah it's a bit late but yeah we are pretty much ready for bed now Joe got his hooked story accepted. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'm just doing a, a coffee scrub mask and I've got all my skincare bits to use after. Got an iced water in a wine glass because I'm just that bougie. Uh, I'm going to try this Toblerone. I'm going to quickly try now. Yeah, it's not as... um. Orange is what I thought it was going to be, but it seems like there's actual like orange pieces in it, as opposed to it being orange throughout. Do you know what I mean? Oh. Hmm. Well, that's different anyway. So yeah, I'm gonna enjoy my Toblerone and my ice water. Um, probably watch a bit of Benidorm. I've been back on the Benidorm. On the. The Benidorm. A bit. The Benidorm. I've been back on the Benidorm hype. That's what I meant to say. So for ages I didn't watch it and I think I got yeah. two of us making love to my sandals. Oh. And I catch her on camera now. Oh, too bad. Too bad. Did you see it? Yeah.
Sorry about that guys, I just thought she's been trying to do that and I've caught her in the act. <laughs> I knew she was after him. She does love a pair of shoes to rub her face up against. I I don't know where this has come from really, but she loves a pair of shoes or a pair of socks and she loves to rub her face in it. I think I, I just leave her to it and I'll try not to look at what she's doing. <laughs> What's it talking about? Uh, Benaboom. Benaboom, yeah, I'm gonna watch some Benaboom. And, um, oh yeah, that was it. That I, back on, like, the hype of watching that, for ages I was watching loads of Modern Family. And then it's been The Office US. And, I mean, I, st I still do watch those. But I did miss Benaboom. As soon as we haven't gone away this year, I feel it's just, it's like being on holiday. <laughs> But no. So yeah, we're gonna watch that. Or at least I'm gonna watch that. You might read some Harry Potter sign. I might do, yeah. Um, we're gonna order the new camera. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realise. <laughs> There's the camera, guys. Sony ZV-1. I'm about to press order. Basically, I was waiting for, I was waiting to see if this hooked story got accepted first, and it has, so that should pay for it. Very excited. And yeah, I think I'm gonna wrap up this vlog here. I mean, I feel like whilst we're kind of still in this weird phase of life, it probably is gonna be kind of more just a couple of days of our life out of the week because pretty much we're not ready to start properly going like out and about. So apart from going to get groceries, we just tend to stay in and work. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed just seeing like little bits of what we get up to. I'm gonna finish this off now and then I can edit and upload tomorrow and then have a nice day off Sunday and play Mario. Get those moves. Yeah, thank you for watching guys. I hope you've enjoyed. Bye.